Since heartworm disease was first recognized in the United States, there's been a continual spread throughout the country of this potentially fatal disease in dogs. The primary targets for the heartworm parasite are dogs and their wild cousins, such as coyotes, wolves, and foxes. Cats can also get life-threatening infections with heartworms. Cats don't typically spread infection back to the intermediate host, the mosquito. Mosquitoes are necessary to spread heartworm disease from animal to animal. Adult heartworms, which can reach one foot in length, are found in the heart and nearby blood vessels, where they damage the vessels and reproduce. After mating, female heartworms produce thousands of tiny larvae called microfilaria. These microfilaria circulate throughout the body in blood vessels, including the capillaries under the skin, where they are available to be ingested by mosquitoes. Across the U.S., there are many species of mosquitoes that are capable of transmitting heartworms. Dogs are common targets of mosquitoes as heartworm infections occur in animals kept both indoors and outdoors. The mosquito, while taking a blood meal, ingests microfilaria from an infected dog's blood. The engorged mosquito is now infected with microfilaria. These immature heartworm larvae continue their development inside the mosquito. The microfilaria enter the body cavity of the mosquito where they develop over the next 10 to 14 days. Before this mosquito can infect another dog, these larvae must undergo this development phase. As the microfilaria mature and become infective larvae, they migrate to the mouth parts of the mosquito to be in position to infect another host. The life cycle is continued when the infected mosquito takes another blood meal from either the same dog or another dog. As the mosquito prepares to take a blood meal, a fascinating chain of events occurs. To feed, the needle-like stylet penetrates the skin and the protective labium, or lip, of the mosquito flexes. As the mosquito feeds, infective larvae erupt through the tip of the labium and are deposited on the surface of the skin. After the mosquito withdraws its stylet, the infective larvae enter the dog through the bite wound in the dog's skin. The heartworm larvae develop while migrating through the dog's connective tissue. This process takes approximately three to four months. During this time, the larvae, which were microscopic, developed to be approximately one-half to three-quarters of an inch in length. After this tissue development stage, the larvae migrate to a nearby vein and burrow in. Once inside, the flowing blood carries them to the heart and major blood vessels within the lungs. Once these young heartworms reach the heart and large vessels of the lung, they are in the perfect environment for their continued growth and development. The gentle flow of blood through the vessels of the lung makes it easy for the young heartworms to swim, move about, and cause mechanical damage to the vessel walls. The nutrient-rich blood provides an ideal food source, promoting the rapid growth of the young heartworms to their adult size. Since heartworms may develop to be up to a foot in length and large numbers can infect a single dog, these worms can cause health problems, coughing, and difficulty breathing, and may lead to death of the infected animal. Once mature, the heartworms breed and the female begins to reproduce live young. The life cycle is now complete, and another dog is now capable of infecting more mosquitoes, causing further spread of this disease.